as one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Back in the 60s, NASA chose a bold moniker for its moonwalk program, Apollo, a god of major importance in Greek mythology. Well, Apollo has a twin sister named Artemis, and now she's bringing humans back to the moon. Last month, NASA announced the Artemis program, a plan to put astronauts back on the moon in 2024, and those astronauts will include the first female moonwalker. In another first, they'll also plan to visit the moon's south pole. With Artemis, there's even more at stake, humanity's presence beyond Earth. This time, when we go to the moon, we will stay, said NASA Administrator Jim Bridenstine. And then we will use what we learn on the moon to take the next giant leap, sending astronauts to Mars. In fact, NASA said, as a result of Artemis, we will be able to establish a sustainable human presence on the moon by 2028. That's only nine years away a bold statement for NASA to make, especially because Artemis faces political, budgetary, and technological challenges to overcome by 2024. Still, preparations for Artemis have already begun as NASA works on the first flight of its space launch system rocket next year. The massive booster will blast a new crew capsule called Orion on an uncrewed mission to the moon and back. A test will follow in 2022 with as many as four astronauts aboard. Next comes construction of a small space station in orbit around the moon, where NASA will dock a lunar lander in 2024. Four astronauts will fly the Orion capsule to the station, then board the lander and descend to the moon's surface. That's the plan, but time will tell if NASA's timeline is overly ambitious. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.